welcome to Yonbango Damnation. Interesting looking game I found on uh, itch.io. And let's see, the game store page. Uh, it's a little story about a teenage girl who's come face to face with her nightmares, revealed the source of this curse. It had a really interesting looking gameplay, or like artistic aesthetic, and you'll, you'll get to see, but just take my word for it. But it looked interesting. Apparently, also though, there was a warning in the in the uh, the folder where the game is contained. It says, "Warning: Due to engine issues, the game crashes upon death. Remember to save regularly." Fantastic. That's uh, quite the bug, but hmm. again, again, is that moment again? No, this is that weird and very creepy dream. I don't understand why this is happening to me. What have I had done to make this happen over and over again? Only insomnia helps me, but in the morning, I fall asleep anyway. And then again, again this short but painful nightmare. But after waking up, everything is always forgotten. People usually ask me what I dream about, but I can't usually say anything. Immediately after waking up, all the details of my dreams are quickly forgotten. I vaguely remember the silhouette of that strange creature that looms over me. It squeezes me like a vice with huge, massive arms. The place or it holds me is dimly familiar to me. But due to the fact that this creature holds me in this corner and doesn't allow me to look around, I cannot fully discern this place. It doesn't let me get out of the trap which it set up for me. Again. Again. Again, this is repeated. I'm in that alley again, and again this tall, or perhaps long, creature is nothing, or is holding me in this strange dream. What? What? You... does it? You? Does it speak? You. But I can't understand what it says. Yoon. Does it know my name? Yoon. But how? How? Yoon. Why are you doing it? What do I do? Yoon, why are you doing it? Yoon, why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? Why are you making me suffer? Why are you making me suffer? Why are you making me suffer? But why are you doing it? Murder. Why are you doing it? I kept repeating the same words. Murder. It doesn't let me say a word. Now I dare to shout. I dare to shout to get the silence I need now. Stop. What do you want from me? What have I done? It became quiet. It took a while, but it seemed like an eternity to me. The silence was awkward. At such moments, I was afraid to say anything. I didn't want to talk. I didn't want it to start repeating the same words again like a broken record. But I didn't want to be silent anymore. Seems like... Seems like it's... It is starting to repeat itself again. I don't want to hear those bone-chilling, metallic screams again. Now it starts blaming me. I can't remember. It's true. It'll start blaming me again, but why is it blaming me? I don't want to know that. Maybe it is not right at all. Maybe I'm the most unlucky person on the earth. I need to ask what it wants from me. What have I done? It didn't answer. What do you want from me? It still didn't answer. That ringing silence again. This creature still won't let me get out. You. It decided to break the silence with its own voice. And although this voice is vague, it is very familiar to me. I heard it somewhere before, but I can't remember. It decided to speak again. This is the moment when I dare to ask. Me. You. You. You will soon know. You will soon know. You will soon know everything. You will soon know everything. You and I will have fun. We all have a lot of fun together. He he he. You'll know soon, Yoon. Soon. Very, very soon. This is the moment when I wake up in a terrible sweat. Also, can I save? Since they say death, we're gonna save. There we go. This is the moment when I wake up in a terrible sweat. I see the ceiling in my room, nothing special, nothing unusual. A few months later. It's been a few months since that last nightmare. I don't even remember what happened there. I remember something very familiar and very evil, and it's good that this has already passed. Now I live as before. I feel good. 
Ding dong. I wake up. I thought that this is just another dream, but this calls? This doorbell is real. Strange, it's dead of night now though. Strange of, oh. <laughs> It's dead at night now. Who came to our house at such a time? Maybe something happened, car crash. People may need help. Then why am I so slow? It's necessary to put on clothes and quickly find out what happened there at such a time. All right, all right, I, I get up and go. Hey, see, now it went from visual novel to first person game. Isn't that cool? Come on. I'm sure a lot of people maybe that didn't like visual novels, they're like, eh, visual novel. Eh. But yeah, now that, oh no, I have limited ammo. Ah, uh, let's just, wait. Why is it saying empty? I guess we'll just hope it's there. Even though it says empty, it has an asterisk. All right, so let's see. A bunch of horror stuff all around. TV, I can't look up and down. It's like a Doom style engine where there's no up and down. Maybe the build engine, not sure. Or the FPS engine. Like you can see the chair even rotates. The chair looks decently 3D, even though it's, you know, completely 2D, but, uh, eh, okay. Oh. When I opened the front door, I didn't see anyone, neither those who called at the door, nor even my parents. If my parents were at home, they would have heard the call too. So strange. Maybe someone is just... Roughhousing, just screwing around and ringing all the doors in a row. What is this at my feet? Some small box on the floor. A surprise box. I'm not going to guess, let's just open it. There's nothing in the box except... except for a small note. For Yoon, it says the top line of this piece of paper. There's bad handwriting, and in order to understand what was written in the paper, it took a while to decipher it. Dear friend, let's meet tonight on the roof of the abandoned school where we once studied. Don't you want to know who it is? Your dark dreams. My knees began to tremble after reading the last words. It, but how? I mean, just, just don't go. He's inviting you. Sounds like it's powerless and it's just giving you an option, maybe. Stop. Why didn't my parents wake up from the doorbells? I gotta go check out their bedroom. Oh, it feels like there's a hair constantly trying to also get near my eyes. Which is usual. I mean, seriously, wait, hang, hang on, like, I wanted to show, but I kept, look at this, like, fucking mane I got growing here, hang on. Oh, I'm wearing the gamer sock on my left hand. Ugh. Ah, it's hard to, you can't tell, man. I mean, but, yeah, it's hard. Like, you can see some here, man. You can see some on the sides of my neck, but it sort of just camouflages with the dark shadows of my behind my chair, like if my hair isn't even black yet, it just sort of blends in. Eh. I don't know, I, I, I got a sweet, sweet fluff growing in the back. I got the mane growing, you know? Just wanted to show it off, but right now it's hard to. With the beanie on, I mean, it's still in the back, but... Eh. As long as it doesn't look like a mullet, basically, then we're all good. <laughs> Weird. They're not at home. Maybe they were visiting someone. Of course, it's a bad time, but I haven't seen my former school for so long. I wonder what's left of it. I need to take my camera. It has a built-in flashlight. I was in doubt. Seemed like a delusional dream, but I was already standing in front of the gates of my former school. Sounds like usually what happens when you're in a dream. Just saying. Also, hair, do you freaking mind? Wait, this is Makoto. I haven't seen her in a very long time. Hang on. I reloaded the game because I accidentally wasted something. Is it just was the door closing? I thought I had a secret where I hit E on the TV and then something opened somewhere else. But then I was giving get I was like under the ins, the sensation of like Duke Nukem 3D secrets kind of thing, you know. Anyways, uh, let's see. Roughhousing, small box. Wait, we're a little ahead from here. 
Seemed like a delusional dream of standing in the front of the gates of the former school. Terrifying place. I don't know exactly why the school closed many years ago. We moved to another district very far from here. There are rumors that this school has been taken over by demons. Those who once lived on this land at the former cemetery, they got rid of it and built the school on this land. These are just urban legends, though. But I know for sure that there are a lot of people who have disappeared here. Nobody ever found them. Cursed place. With these thoughts, I started to open the gates. The rattle of closed gates. Locked. I need to find a workaround to get into the schoolyard. Obviously, this will take some time, but it's worth it. I can't reach the end of the fence here. It's too high for me. I found a workaround. There's a tree under the fence. Now I can climb over it to the other side. And here it is, my former school. It looks even gloomier than from afar. It seems that someone is inside. I noticed that there were lights in some windows. Or I just imagined it because of the flashlight. The windows stare at me like the eyes of a dead man. It's like they're judging me for leaving this place. I'll go further. Hey. Now oh, it's interesting though. I said to see how I can die when I especially have only 19 quote unquote bullets slash film rolls. What kind of enemies will be facing? I'm curious. I want to know more. I'm sure a lot of you agree, which makes me happy. I will <laughs> I will presume such ahead of time. It's given me also though cry of fear vibes a bit. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure what direction I should go. I can't sprint. And this is a long pathway, and is it just me or is it maybe looping? Is it looping? Six 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 one three. Feels like it's looping, but well, finally went somewhere. Broken down statue. No name. I could make a political joke, but I really don't want to bring up statues and politics. It, it just feels like it'd be <laughs> a bad idea, especially given I'm on YouTube, man. You don't want to risk it, man. I, I'm, YouTube's already, like, fucking with my channel in terms of views anyways at the start of February. Don't know why. At the start of every month, it seems my channel gets fucked in the ass by YouTube, no less. That's besides the point, I guess. Ugh, the main door is locked. You need to find something to open the door. <laughs> I just felt like rambling about that so people are at least aware about my frustrations and awareness that my channel just suddenly goes into weird slow slopes that's thanks to YouTube fucking me in the ass rather than me fucking myself in my own ass. Because I, I don't know, I, I may swear a lot, but I mean, I don't do anything too controversial. I try to stay pretty clean besides the swearing. But I'm going to check the other side of the school. I'll skip ahead so you guys don't have to watch the slow movement. Alright, this way there's just a dead end. So, if only I went a little bit further so I saw that was a dead end ahead of time. Or before on the first time. Alright, so going inside the building then. I'm trying, I want to know what can actually damage me. This does not look right, it looks like something straight from Silent Hill. Like a flesh wall. Silent Hill 4 specifically kind of stuff. Hmm. What was I needing this for? Toolbox? No, seriously, what was I needing this for? For the gate? Oh, oh wait, maybe, maybe this, yeah. Ah, they just swung open. Yeah, it's boarded. The, the, the boards worked wonderful. It helped keep the door sealed, you could tell. Hmm. The door creaking open. I walk into the hallway of the building. The view of the hallway seemed depressing because of all this dust accumulated over the years. Battered walls... Ba bat battered? I think it means battered. Battered walls and scattered trash on the floor. There's one thing that I didn't immediately pay attention to. The light was on. It looks like the light which I saw earlier in the windows turned out to be true rather than it being my nightly illusions. Anyway... I came here for a reason, namely for answers to my questions. Now I need to go up to the roof. Since this place 
has electricity, there must be someone who guards the building. Seems like I won't be able to get to my target quickly. Hmm. So to figure out what guard is here, if there's guards to ensure kids don't wander inside, because it's a common occurrence for kids to be like, ha ha, men in school, ha, ah, it's very haunting, hoo hoo, hee hee. And you know, there could be murderers and uh, dangerous hobos. And yes, someone could be like Nico, just because they're a hobo doesn't mean they're dangerous. It's a potential. You don't know, maybe they're doing heroin. You never know, man. It's better safe than sorry. Especially if you're in California, then you, you, you never know. Unless they're a respectable citizen and just happen to be homeless. Maybe they're a veteran. You just don't know, man. But it's, again, it's better safe than sorry. The same things I was told when I, in my youth, abandoned an old abandoned... I said abandoned twice now, but... Shh, abandoned box factory that we had in my birth home, my birth town. Yeah, there's a f box factory. I, I think I mentioned it in another video. Uh, uh, too long, don't read. There's an abandoned box factory and... When you entered it, there was a spooky, spooky sign someone put there saying there are brain slugs or something inside the building and to not not trespass. Um, and a bunch of shoddy boards blocking a back door that I used to get in. All I could remember, really, is a place with fucking full of bird shit everywhere. Like, there must have been hordes of birds using that building as, you know, shelter for so many years, like, wooden floors, really old, like, 1950s wooden floors, full of bird shit, and horrible smell, lots of bird shit, clothes hangers and evidence of people having slept there in various rooms, because it was, like, five stories tall, or six stories tall, and there's bird shit everywhere, again, <laughs> and boxes of giant bubble wrap, which I would pop if it, the boxes and the bubble wrap themselves were also covered in bird shit. So just a lot of bird shit, and then one of the rooms, which was like a smaller receptionist looking room, had, had, was weird because the floors, the ceilings, and the walls were covered in Playboy magazine torn pages glued to the wall. And other than that, nothing out of the ordinary. Just just the, the bird shit and the Playboy magazines, and the fact that someone definitely was sleeping there because there's a sleeping bag and clothes, you know, like a, a custom made clothes hanger in one of the rooms and all that. But anyways, it was interesting. I need to go up to the second floor. There must have been a ladder somewhere. Ladder. The door closing behind me makes me a little paranoid. Also, I'm saving. I want to know what kind of enemies exist. I guess the stairs are here, behind the door. Need to find a key. This one? Okay. I want to know what kind of enemies exist in this game. That's the only thing I'm wondering. I'm hungry to see what the enemies look like. If there are enemies, if it's not just one single antagonist, I'm curious about, like, how you get attacked. Or if I can ever reload my, uh, camera weapon. I don't want to take my eyes off that, but... Sorry, I had the key, but lost it. Lost it there in the abandoned part of the building. I wanted to look for it, but there was this monster and those damn hanged men. Is this supposed to be perhaps my character? They look a little bit different. I swear on the image that showed the main character there, their socks were thigh highs. This is just shin high, not even over the kneecaps. So this isn't me, but I have to be careful that's not a... I don't like turning my back to it, but we're gonna have to. I don't know. There's multiple of them. Let's close the door. No, no. It closes when I go a certain distance away from it. I see. Hmm. A little unsettling. I'd make this a thumbnail, too, but I'm afraid doing it, YouTube will be like, mm, What's this? Uh, hints of suicide? Uh, it's not PG-13. Demonetized. With that specific language in mind, you know, Jimmy Neutron's teacher or something. I don't know what the handprint was also. Oh, okay, okay, let me try to... Is it a key? A key right there? A box. The fuck is that? I'm hitting E and nothing's happening. Is that like TNT? What the fuck is that? A gift? 
gift. It looks like a gift box. I'm hitting E and nothing's happening, so I oh, don't fucking know. Oh, Moving on for now. I don't like the fact that this is supposed to be an abandoned room. We know by video game logic, seeing something like this is. I, I, am I the only one? Okay, let me share my thoughts here. I'm wandering around being like, haha, video game stuff. There's hanged people. I'm like, eh, it's, you know, like doom. It's like, there's just hung people. It's an aesthetic for creepiness. But then I'm like, no, but wait, isn't this supposed to be an abandoned building? No. It's like, th there's people that literally are hung themselves. It, I mean, they can't be fucking real. Death. They, they can't be real. Red more? Room, roomder? It's not murder, but I think it's meant to be a joke on murder. Like, uh, what was, was it? Red room? R red room. But. Red moor? And I'm kind of surprised they haven't moved. The fact that they're the exact same model might just imply maybe it's like, say, the antagonist, but he's fucking with me kind of thing. On the left, there's a broken vending machine. I think there's something edible in there. Even if not, it's worth checking. Thanks, video game, for letting me know. I'm hitting E. Is it, is it just the game broken? Uh, worth checking out, but I'm hitting E and nothing's happening? E isn't working, so it's like... You, and for this... Am I just not meant to? This is not right. I'll keep going, but I'm hoping... I haven't run into some weird bug where... Th these things I can clearly interact with. I don't think I can look up and down. The keyboard. W-A-S-D-E-R-F. It's not... I... Hmm. I meant to take pictures of you? Oh. What? I, I killed it? Huh? Something tells me something bad's gonna happen here. Or I'll get chased? I should maybe follow maybe the gifts path. <laughs> Just in case. This is a trap. Following the gifts so far is okay. I get a feeling it's like ammo because I'm gonna be facing something that's gonna be coming after me. I shot her, but she couldn't die. She couldn't die. Bolts don't kill. Well, thankfully, I have a camera. That doesn't look like a real door. Oh. Yeah, okay. Weird. I'll just keep shooting it until I uh, until it dies, I guess. All right. I mean, if guns don't kill it, sure. I'll take it. Not dead? No, no. Yes. No. Yes. It didn't move, but in your face. All right, I think the game is fixed now. Maybe. It depends if I had to redo the entire game or not. I think. Yeah, the hang hung bodies are gone. The ones I've killed. Okay, they're actually meant to be moving targets, which really probably ruined the game to a degree. We'll have to see if the key dropped or if I had to redo, fight everything, and they're, they're definitely meant to move. I downloaded the game and then a patch, and apparently the patch broke the game, but then I looked at the store, and 20 minutes from now, there was a new patch. 
So I'm hoping the developer then found out, oh hey, my patch broke the game. Time to uh, put another patch. Which is just really bad timing because... This thing's already dead and probably just... It would drop a key. Fuck. I don't want to redo a no whole game, but we'll see. Saves as a whole could be fucked. We'll see. What's still alive and do they move? And my headset's beeping. The corpses aren't here, the ones that I killed. How about future ones? Is there any left over? Or did I already kill them all in this save too? <laughs> oh, yep. There we go. Alright, now things looking good. We're looking uh, normal. That's how they're supposed to be. Okay. This will be much harder then, because I have little ammo. And I can't kill whatever chases me next. I like the noise. <laughs> I need the gift. I'll skip ahead though when I get into the area with that supposed boss. Let's see. Interesting animation. I can ignore the ones in the rooms, more or less. Get out of here. Okay, now the game is actually appropriate. Finally. Now I have to see how the boss acts. Like, just the whole game, I'm just like, oh man, this is spooky. There's hung people everywhere. Why aren't they moving? Why can't I kill them? Now everything sort of makes sense. It's just mildly unfortunate, because then it's just like, I, I wish I didn't have that bug happen. Then we'd not be biased to starting the game with that kind of silliness. I don't need to go in there. Just gotta kill this one. The silliness just makes it so it probably harder for you guys to like take it seriously. Yeah, so I can take that, right? Yeah, okay. No. Oh. Eat the food twice. I'll get the, uh... One of the cameras in here. Alright, saving here. It's the boss. Probably moves fast, be able to run around in the maze or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We just have to... Oh! oh that's not good. I made a mistake. go. It dropped the key. Okay, now things make sense. But, uh, yeah, I'll skip ahead. I don't want to waste any more time. I've been already recording for an hour, so what I want to do is, uh, do a lot more skipping. Unless there's a lot more of the game, then we'll see. I like that his body didn't poof, though. It's still just there. All right, well, let's see. Is this door openable? It is. It leads to another key. Let's hope that's the stairway key. Which is over here? I believe. Let's find out. I don't know why they'd get do a key to a key. That's the only thing I would think is stupid. Yeah, it's a key to a key. Why not just have it the boss drops the fucking stairwell key? Why have it so I have a... I finished opening the damn door to the second floor stairs. And I just had to go. Whoa, whoa. It's, it's, it's kind of stupid, you know. It can't be. It didn't seem to me. I saw her. More precisely, it was the walking corpse of that girl who... With her friend from the roof of the school, I managed to lock the door. This evil will not come out. Meet me at the library. I was mistaking the game as something that maybe, like, had secret endings and survival, you know, riddle-style horror game, but I think it's just more of a FPS game. I can sh do it over the desk, good. Five shots. 
And there's like ammunition now, especially everywhere. It's very merciful. Um, this was a dead end. Or, no. Oh. Well, that's more of a Genji Ito thing. Oh, I knew a range attack. No. AoE? That motherfucker. Well, that's a pain. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, there's some health back. I'll grab it. Alright, I'll go in the other door. I'm kind of curious. Well, I don't like these double doors. I'll have to figure out... Okay, this is where I came from then. It's a good thing I didn't open the double doors originally, and I came through this room, because depending on the attack pattern... I'm going to have to start saving it more regularly since I'm dealing with ranged attackers now. As long as it's still making that fucking noise. Oh, come on! Just leave it in that fucking room. There's just no point. There's a dead end here. Ceiling collapsed. You don't say. Entering those classrooms is absolutely pointless. You go in there, you get damaged. I mean... I, I say, you know what? Like, it'd only be useful. Like, see, this doesn't even have extra ammo in here. Unless there's, like, an, an actual secret ending where I kill every enemy. But... Wait, I think I'm lost. It's good to check out every room, though, 100%. Gotta figure out what's behind everything. No. Drums, music. All right. Hmm. I would like some more health, though. If we go to the start, we can get it, but this place is almost effectively a little bit of a maze. Where am I now? I don't even know. It's, I'm not going in that room. That's all I know. Ooh. Mm. Double doors everywhere. Mm. I don't trust you. What the? Is this a corpse? You're only bringing up asking why there's corpses who hung themselves now? Okay. One of the dudes in the posters. Hmm. Also, I guess I'll take that. And she bit me. I want to sleep. I have a rope. I'm going to sleep. Don't be bitten. Hmm. I have to figure out where to use the key. I'll do a little skip ahead. Hmm. What? Probably a dangerous person. Well, it's like, have the door... Oh, never mind. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't trust... Nope. Don't... didn't trust getting near them. At least I found the right room. Reload. Save. Probably found the right room. Another collapse. Nothing else? Just that person? That's it? Come on. 
Maybe they're a normal enemy. No, they did drop the key, so I mean... I guess then, the key for... Here? Third floor to... I guess we're going higher. Yep. Oh, I... 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 Okay. I, I couldn't read that, but okay. Probably something about the stairs are going up. I don't know, man. This isn't going back, right? No, this isn't the same as the start, right? Just the same hallway. This corridor to the roof is so long. Indeed, it is. Finally, I climbed to one of the rooftops of the school. There's no way to get to the next floor due to the collapse of the other parts of the building. I hope to get to the right place. In any case, it's too late to retreat. This place is so quiet, there are no extraneous sounds, except for the night wind and cicadas uh, weeping in the distance. A little while later, a strange hum sounded nearby. Nothing will surprise me tonight. I heard sounds that... I heard sounds coming towards me. But I didn't fear. Someone spoke out of the darkness, breaking the awkward silence. A moment later, a very familiar silhouette appeared in front of my face. Because of such an unexpected appearance, I almost fell on my back. Who are you? I asked with indignation. Don't you remember me at all? Nope. She asked me a question. I can't remember. You, murder. She began to accuse me like that creature from my nightmares, like in the dream. And then something important flashed in my brain. I began to gradually remember those memories when we last saw her. This was our very last meeting. I began to understand why this is happening. We are not us. There's nothing left of us already except for forgotten souls that will continue to roam this damned earth. One of us will disappear from this world once and forever. She must have read my mind, or thought of it too. Today someone will go to heaven and someone to hell. He he. Or maybe neither. Ha ha. She suddenly interrupted my thoughts with her laughter, and maybe she's telling the truth. I took out my camera and pointed it straight uh, to my interlocutor's face, then pushed the button. This scared her and made her run away. She suddenly jumped back into the darkness. Then I heard the call again, which came a couple of minutes ago. I got up like a hunter with my camera and got ready. That's kind of cringe wording, but... Got ready for the final battle with my nightmare that terrorized me once. An inhuman roar sounded out of the darkness. My rival is ready to attack. Sounds like shit you'd seen from an anime. Better writing. That's cringe. It's kind of cute, maybe? Just can't hit me if I keep moving. Oh jeez, that was... Can't. I need health and I need ammo. So I'll use this chance. Interesting music. We're hitting a dead end. Might die. No. Oh. Oh. Nice. Now, hopefully, it won't take too much more. Again, I'll use this opportunity to get ammo. Just gotta make sure I don't get punched when I try to do the circle. <laughs> Too good. So one more punch, and I'm obviously dead. And then the game crashes. I don't know about the whole rock music and action kind of shit, but it's dead. The music keeps playing. Alright, well, I mean, let's go back through the door and hope a cutscene plays. I would imagine a cutscene playing right after it dies would be, you know, the most cinematically preferable, but... 
Oh, like, oh he dropped the key, too. Alright. Bye. Yesterday at 11.35 a.m. at school. I don't know why the dot. At school. Two teenagers something died after falling off the roof. The students agreed, or the students spread rumors that they were possessed by demons. The press office of the National Police Agency refrained from commenting. Oh. Weird. Half of the samples belong to Clank Beald. The end. I mean, I don't know if the anime drawings are from... Like, does the store page say, maybe? Let me look. Let's see. A little story about a teenage girl who has come face-to-face -face with her nightmare revealed the source of this curse. Due to engine issues, it crashes upon death, which we didn't deal with, at least, but... I don't know, I'm not sure if it's like I understand... Was the intention to make it more action-oriented? I'm kind of confused by it. And at, at the very least, I'm hoping, like, the drawings, like, say, the floating head, looked really Junji Ito. I'm not sure if it's just, like, a, if the creator of this game literally drew that or had someone he knows who can make drawings that look like Junji Ito's works. Or if it's just from somewhere, like, one of Junji Ito's works and just, you know, made a floating head texture for an enemy. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to just imagine... Since at the very least, if the levels are going to be sort of custom-made and the art's going to be custom-made and most things that the enemies to are 100% custom-made, if so, then it's pretty cool. But the game, it's like when you see an like an ambience or an atmospheric horror that has a good, like, good atmosphere or unique atmosphere, and then to make it action, kind of an action shooter... It feels questionable. I, I like. I would imagine the better thing would be to rely more on survival horror rather than, you know, doom shooter, because this is more doom shooter than survival horror or atmospheric horror. Yet visually speaking, it almost screams like it should be survival horror. Anyone else get the same feeling? Because then the boss comes and just dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it. You know, it's like uh, okay. It goes from a calm, quiet, you know spooky atmospheric horror and then it turns into a rock battle boss mode like maybe you'd see from i don't know other gz doom games i don't know if that's what the developer wants it's kind of weird but eh. otherwise um visually speaking very nice it's just I, I i would at least personally wish it hmm was wrapped up in a more consistent package is my biggest thing. But either way, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, and the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time. Mm.